Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial we'll take a look at how you can view and control your WordPress cron jobs. Cron jobs are basically scheduled tasks that are created automatically by WordPress or a WordPress plugin that you have activated on your website. They are similar to an alarm clock that goes off regularly to trigger an automated response. Many WordPress plugins, especially those that trigger emails to be sent out automatically will configure cron jobs when you click the install and activate buttons. You will generally never need to worry about when the cron job will occur unless you run into an issue and we'll look at how you can fix that issue in this video tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the WP Crontrol plugin which is a free plugin available from wordpress.org. You can directly install this on your WordPress dashboard. It's not a tips and tricks HQ plugin although it does a great job of allowing you to delete, edit, modify and add cron jobs. We'll be taking a look at how you can use this to delete a duplicate cron job from your WordPress website. Once you have WP Control installed and activated on your WordPress website, if you head to the WordPress Tools menu, you'll see a sub-menu titled Cron Events. Click on this to view all your current cron events. As you can see, I've got a number of events, some created by plugins and some created by WordPress. Generally, the ones created by WordPress will start with WP underscore and then a bit about what it is meant to do. If I found for some reason one of the plugins I had installed and activated on my website had created a duplicate cron event, I could come here and see if there was two of the exact same event. So basically, I could copy the event Control F and then search to make sure there's only one event. If there was two, it would come up with one here and then another one somewhere else on this page. So it's good to know I've only got one of this event occurring and it will run next in 59 minutes and 22 seconds. You can see the reoccurrence period. So this one was once hourly. Generally, a cron event will run once a day once hourly, it should never run more than 15 minutes, especially if you do not have a dedicated server. To delete an event, you can go ahead and click the delete button to delete out a duplicate event. Make sure before you hit that delete button that you really want to delete that event. Never delete a WordPress standard cron event as this can cause further issues on your website. It's also from this WP cron events page you can add a cron event if you're a developer and wish to do so. As well as being able to delete an event, you can also edit that event and alter when it will occur. If you find that you want it to occur more frequently, you can do that by clicking that edit button. If you wished for a cron event to run immediately, you can click the run now button to run that event. So that basically sums up this tutorial on using WP Crontrol to view your cron events and then either delete a duplicate event or edit an event. This is a great resource if you wish to troubleshoot on your WordPress website. For further questions or queries, please comment them below.